Hey y'all, it's your girl Shay. I am back, y'all. Um, yo girl has been crazy busy with work. I mean, it's been crazy, but it's been wonderful. Um, the place I work at, um, it is a polling place, and we had to host our county's poll workers and officials. So. You know, it's been, it's been crazy, but it's been great. I have, I, I, I love what I do for a living, y'all. I love what I do for a living. I want to do more, but I absolutely love what I do for a living. Um, I want to tell you guys this. I want to lift you guys up with the word of encouragement. I know I've been telling you I want to, I want to talk about Shanquilla and take off, but we are, I'm, I'm still going to do that, but I think it's going to be done at a later time. Um, but God just wants me to encourage you. He really, I just feel in my spirit. Let me say that. I feel in my spirit that God really wants to bless you. God really do want to bless you. When you give to others and you do as God told you to do, when you told, when he told you to do it, he's going to bless you. You are not going through what you are going through and he don't come for you. He's not going to bless you for it because when you go through tests and when you go through trials and when you go situation, go through situations and problems and you choose to have the right attitude you still choose to give, well, give unto the Lord in any capacity, whether it's through tithes and offerings or just giving, like th this is the holiday season. So, you know, everybody is looking forward to someone giving into their organization, into their ministry, into their, their shelter or whatever they're doing. They're looking for people to give. When you are led of the spirit as to who to give to, when to give to, and all of that, God will bless your whole life. God will bless your whole life. You never have to worry if God is going to bless you because I've been sent here to let you know that he will. He's going to open up doors for you. He's going to give you opportunities. He's going to heal you mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically, financially, in your family, in your relationships, in your friendships. God is going to bless you. You are not going to give God your time, your energy, your 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 physical strength and 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 just all of who you are. And he don't give you nothing back. That is not how God works. That is not how God works. He, if you give something unto the Lord, he gives it back in greater value. In greater value. I was talking about tithes just, just a minute ago. I was talking about tithes and offerings. You can't give 10% back to him and he don't give you a hundred percent back now i will say this it won't always be in money but it'll be in the healing of your body or someone that you know body uh it'll be a job opportunity it'll be a place to stay somewhere to eat or get something to eat it doesn't matter god got multiple ways of blessing you and this one thing that you have to do though you have to be open and you have to be obedient. God blesses through people. He blesses through, you know, different avenues. And people are involved in those avenues. So be open to how God bless you. Now, God is going to give you the discernment to know it went, if it's him or not. But understand this, God's going to bless you through somebody else through some other operation, through some other agency, through some other entity. He's going to bless you and people are going to be involved. So don't be, you know, I understand you want to be careful, but don't box God in. Don't tell him how to bless you. 
Just let him do it. You can have a request. <laughs> he doesn't mind you having a request. But let God bless you. You've been faithful. You've been obedient. You've been kind. You've been faithful over a few things. You, you've, you've done what you're supposed to do. You continue to do what you're supposed to do. Let God bless you. As you bless others, let God bless you. As you give to others, let God bless you. Because see, when it's from the heart and it's from the right place, it's from the right motives, it's from the right perception and right views, come on, the blessing has to come. The blessing has to come. Clean out whatever you need to clean out. I remember the story Steve Harvey was talking about how he was going to talk about getting the car. And his mama told him, what you going to do about your old car that's still sitting in the driveway? He had to go in that, he had to go in that garage, rather. He had to go in that garage and clean it out and get rid of the old car before he got the new one. Whatever you need to do to clear the line, clear the line. Clear the line so your blessings can come through. Sometimes it's our thinking. Sometimes we got the wrong people in our life. Sometimes our house is dirty. Every house, every now and again, your house needs a deep clean anyway. So whatever you got to do to make sure that the blessing that God has for you come, do that thing. Do that thing and look for it in more ways than one. Don't just look for it in the monetary. Look for it in the spiritual. Look for it in the mental. Look for it in the emotional. Look for it in the physical. For you and for others who are connected to you. God is going to bless you. He just wants you to be open to the blessing. That's all. That's all. It's the Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. He just wants to bless you. Just wants to bless you. Let him do it. Let him do it. Don't stop his hand. Let him do it. I love you all. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.